Hey, this is Uncle Josh, and we're back on Uncle Josh Gaming. We're gonna do, um, a little bit of tabletop simulator. Um, I'm going to attempt showing how to get started with making a one-world map. So we're gonna go create, multiplayer. I'll just use my default one that I used last time. Now, I already have a work table set up here, but what you can do is go custom. Uh, now, I want a custom table, so we're going to go objects. We're going to clear the table. Tables, and then we're going to choose. Yeah, that's what I wanted. You go tables and then choose the custom rectangle. Now I'm going to use an image that I use uh, for the tables. It's a image I have on my Imgur account. This is what I'm going to be using for Cyberpunk Red. So you just hit import, use whatever image you want. I believe the re I gotta check what the resolution is of this. I'm not sure, but I think it's 3200 by 18, or, yeah, I think it's 3200 by 1890, I think, don't quote me, I could be wrong, but, yeah, so there we go, we've got our uh, custom image on our custom rectangle table, okay, so... To get started with One World, what you need is uh, components. Oh no, wait. So you're going to need the One World mod. But you don't need everything from it. You only need three items. So we're going to expand it. Okay. So you need a One World Hub, uh, you need a V-Base, and a W-Base, okay, now you can take this little one world hub you can move it down here to the corner there now it's all nice and out of the way now if you hit i missing object okay so we're gonna try yeah we're missing the base token so We're going to call this, oh, I guess we're not going to call it anything. Okay, so you get those two bags. We're going to call this Map Maker. Okay. Now, the same here. We're going to call it Map Maker. Okay, so now we've got the bags named, so now we can hit I to initialize. Okay, now we're going to hit the lock. Okay. So you hit this little finger up here, and you hit new. Now you get this little tile that says uh, name of zone. And we're going to rename this to main level. Okay. Now we're going to take main level. Uh, you're going to add a custom image to it. 
Now for this, I'll um, just for giggles, we'll reuse that uh, table image that I used. Now these tiles and whatever image you're using for these tiles, uh, I'm pretty sure they have to be uh, 3200 by 1890. That's a, the resolution that seems to work for me. It seems to be alright. Okay, so now you can see it's uh, changed on here. And then we just drop it onto the one world. So now it uh, spits out a little link. It's called main level. Now, to get this looking right on the table, you'd use these two little buttons here to kind of flip it around, just like so. Okay. So now we're going to take, uh, or what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to move the link just somewhat out of the way for now. We're going to hit clear. Then we're going to hit new again. Now we've got another, uh, another, uh, thing or bob here, uh, tile. We're going to call this one, um, well, what am I going to call it? Um, we're going to call this Night City Bank. And now for the image, I'm going to be using... Another image from my Imgur account. Um, it's a map that I borrowed from a user on Reddit. Credits will be in the description, so I don't have that info offhand. But uh, the map was acquired from r slash cyberpunk red subreddit on Reddit. And the map was made with Dungeon Draft. I edited this uh, Kind Souls uh, Dungeon Draft file, because I own Dungeon Draft, so I made a few changes myself to it, so we'll import. Okay, so now we've got that on there, so we drop it onto the One World, I think. Yeah, so now we have two links, and we have a map. Looks pretty good. But, of course, we're going to have to flip this around to get it uh, positioned, right? Where's the One World hub? <laughs> okay, so we'll kind of flip it. And adjust it. There. This was created with a bunch of different assets. The person on Reddit that made this map used a bunch of assets that were free to use. But let's get back to this. So now we're going to take the main level. We'll drop it on here. Then we're going to click it, hit main level, then we're going to drop the NC bank link on there, click it, boom. Now you just, basically you would rinse and repeat, keep doing this, add in your maps, um, yeah, it's it's a little tricky at first, I will admit, but once you get the hang of this, it's it's easy. It's real easy. So then we're going to hit uh, 
clear, an end, and as you can see, everything's all packed up. Oh, now if I hit, oh, we'll lock it again. Now you can switch between, uh, oh. Hmm. Huh. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, see all. So now I can sort between all of them. Like so. Just like that. And you can click on the links too and they'll and then you click on that to activate it basically. And if I click that link again, boom. Now when you start adding um, things onto it, you can uh, you can pack it up and then you'll have an option to build once you've you know placed items on and everything. so, I'm going to do another installment for this because there's a, a bit more that I want to go over and I actually want to show off how you would go about doing that. So this is just a, a quick little intro of how to get started with One World. This isn't complete by any means. I It's a work in progress. So. Now, I will show uh, another map here, if I can get it to go in like so. Okay, we'll clear, we'll try a new, uh, what am I going to call this one? I'll call it, um, hmm trying to find my uh, proper image to use for this all right let's use let's use this one we're gonna go with and we're gonna call this city streets and for the custom image I'm going to use a map from that I bought on uh, drive through RPG and it's uh, a map from Shadow Plans and it's a, a city streets map. Now I bought it so I'm using it. This is for my own personal use. I'm only showing it so you have an idea. It's also, I may not have it scaled right. It may need to do some work on it but There. So as you can see, there's the city streets map by uh, Shadow Plans. You can adjust it. There we go. Looks pretty good, but like I said, it I don't think it's uh, scaled right for this. So it may need some modifications, but if you're doing this with Dungeon Draft, it should be no problem. Now, in a, a future installment, I will show how to, uh, I'll show how to go about getting the grids and all that stuff in the next one. So, oh, we're just going to hit clear and end. So now we've got three maps all ready to go. Um, also, in another video that I'll do, I'll show how to uh, go about taking these maps and importing them into another table. But yeah, this was just a, a quick little, uh, quick little go over to kind of get your feet wet and hopefully get some anticipation going, and maybe you can start building your own maps and importing them into Tabletop Simulator.
But I'd like to thank everybody for joining me. Sorry for the shoddy explanation. Um, I'm not the greatest at explaining things. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me. We'll do this again soon, hopefully. Until next time.